near beautiful and quiet Wonder Lake. Expanded country. Okay, big test on the new GoPro, big test on the new GoPro, and uh, see how she works. We got a little wind going, so we ought to be able to hear how she, uh, how she deals with that. And I'm doing some walking here, so we ought to see how the stabilization works. It's supposed to be hyper-stabilization, as long as you don't go in 4K. Um, I gotta go in 2K or less for the for the hyper-stabilization or whatever. But, uh, but yeah, so we're gonna give her a test out as I go for a much-needed walk. I need to start getting into a regiment of exercise. Um... Otherwise, I guess my back is never going to feel any better. And you know, right when all this, right when all this COVID shit was about to start, if y'all, some of y'all may remember, I had a, uh, I had an appointment at, well, I had a serious appointment. Tried, I'd been going to the dentist and I'd gone to the uh, orthopedic surgeon, whatever. I don't know orthopedic surgeon. I don't know whatever an orthopedic doctor to uh, look at my elbow, you know, they told me there was nothing wrong with it and gave me a steroid injection and gave me a list of exercises to do, which kind of helped, but to be fair, I don't do them enough um, because it's annoying and uh, it's like chair exercises, but I gotta have a table on either side of me. Well, I gotta have a table on the side that I'm exercising and even though it's just my right arm, you should be using, doing both, because you know, chances are if, if something just like a car, if you replace one part and there's an identical part on the other side, you should replace that at the same time, because chances are it's gonna go bad too. So I'm sure my left elbow isn't that much different, but uh, so nonetheless, I kinda need tables on both sides of me with these exercise bands and it's annoying and I'm a piece of shit and I'm lazy and I've always hated exercising, and, uh, but I'm just gonna have to do a lifestyle change and learn to do it. So I started doing some yoga this morning because my back is just, oh, it's, just it's killing me. You know, we're having nonstop rain every day. So I haven't worked on the roof in several days. And uh, I've just been sitting on my, my ass inside, which is the absolute worst thing for your back. And so, and it was in the past couple days, it's just been excruciating, like almost to the point where I felt like I threw my back out, but I know I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't slip a disc. Um, it's just sore, so I'm like, well, fuck it. And I've been hesitant to do any of this stuff because as I was uh, alluding to earlier, those doctor's appointments, one of those doctor's appointments I had coming up uh, was just a regular checkup, but then after I'd gone to see my, that orthopedic for my spine, he had sent me to a physical therapist. And then that's right when COVID hit. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do, you know, I'm not going out in public and doing shit and, that's before even the state was shut down, but it's still, you know, I just wasn't going to risk it. Um, plus, they didn't take insurance. The place that's close to me, and it was I had to pay out of pocket. I mean, supposedly it wasn't that much, but uh, either way, you know. And so, uh, so I didn't do it. And that was like whatever, three, four months ago, five months ago, six months ago. Fuck, how long? When did all this shit start? But uh, so. So, yeah, so anyway, I resigned myself this morning to fuck it 
um, I definitely should go to a physical therapy again or therapist. I should reschedule appointment and I should go back. I should reschedule an appointment for the doctor and go get a checkup since I canceled that and uh, get everything checked out. But in the meantime, fuck it. I, I probably can't make it any worse. I better start doing something. So I started searching for some yoga channels uh, from people that seem like they're reputable uh, doing videos on how to do yoga if you have a herniated disc. And so I did a session this morning and I definitely felt a little bit better, but you know, it's the first session, right? So we'll give her a few weeks and we'll see, see how she girds and how it affects me. But at the same time on another topic, I don't know if it's cause I'm getting older and I'm, I'm losing all my testosterone or it's because I don't work anymore. And so I just sit around all day, you know, doing, I mean, I do stuff, right? But I said, I don't have, I don't really have any responsibility, right? All the responsibilities on the old lady, she's the breadwinner. You know, I got no way of making money, even if I wanted to. So everything is dependent upon her. That could indeed be part of it. The fact that I have not only any responsibility, um, or that I don't have any responsibility, but also that I don't have like any, uh, you know, like there may be a fear of that. You know what I mean? Like it's built into my psyche. It's built into my psyche as, as just a, not only as a, genetically a little bit because I'm a man, but also because of our societal, uh, you know, whatever, uh, because our culture, how we, how we, how we tend to, to think in America, or at least how we used to tend to think, or maybe we're starting to change it a little bit, but yeah, that the man is the breadwinner and the man is the, the one that's supposed to be strong and everything is dependent upon the man. And I know it's all garbage and bullshit and, but nonetheless, maybe somewhere in my subconscious, it's still affecting me. And so all that being said, that's just all a pre pretext to, 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 to tell you that um, within the last like three months or so, well, y'all know a little bit of it. It all started like when that tornado came. It all started when that tornado came close to the house and, uh, and I had to leave. And I went on that, I went driving to Savannah. I went driving to the East Coast to try to get away from it. And then I drove through that little storm. And then remember a week later, I had to run away to Atlanta with the old lady to stay in a hotel because another storm was coming that was supposed to produce tornadoes. Well, now if there's 20% chance of rain, I mean, fuck a tornado, fuck a storm, not even that, right? Just 20% chance of rain. I start getting the nervous fucking Nellies. Like I wake up having panic attacks. I didn't know what it was at first. Like I didn't know what was going on. Like it took me a little bit of research the first time it happened to figure out I was having an anxiety attack. I thought it was just I drank too much coffee and I was too caffeinated, you know, because I had done that, you know, recently as well on some of that new coffee I had gotten a few months ago or whatever. And I drank too much of that and realized that that had a lot of caffeine and it made me all super nervous. And when researching that, I kind of got into, I'm like, well, I'm not having a panic attack. That's retarded. Like there's nothing to be scared of. But then a few weeks later, a few days later, whatever it was, sure enough, I was. And then it's happened successively, like maybe, I don't know, five or six times. And, uh, and like today, we got storms rolling in this afternoon, but not bad. Like they're not bad. We're not even in a marginal threat. We're just in a regular fucking storm. There's regular going to be some fucking thunderstorms, no big whoop. But for some reason I woke up this morning just in a fucking fright, just full on panic attack. So, uh. And I've just been, I've just been, my wife's like, maybe you shouldn't drink coffee. And I'm like, well, maybe, but, um, you know, I drank coffee my whole life. And she's like, well, maybe your, meta your metabolism has always been fast. I'm like, baby, my metabolism is slower now than it's ever been in my entire life. Or at least than it's ever been since I've hit puberty. You know what I mean? Like it's slowing down. It's not speeding up. It's slowing down. I'm getting older. I'm fucking 45, 46, whatever the fuck I am. And metabolism slows down just as your testosterone levels drop and all that shit. So I don't know if it's a combination of, it's probably a combination of all those things. That's my suspicion. This is my suspicion. A combination of, of my psyche, a combination of, you know, and my psyche due to the fact that I'm a man and I should be in charge and doing all the shit and making all the money. And not only am I not doing all that, but I'm a total piece of shit. And I got, you know, and I'm completely dependent upon someone else for my entire fucking uh, life. And so it's that, or it's, uh, it's probably that rather not, or, but, and, uh, the fact that, um, you know, we have holes in our roofs and rain. And so I'm constantly worried about that and water leaking in when the rain comes and that, you know, it's going to cost $10,000 to get the roof. And it never seems like that's going to happen because, you know, in my mind, I'm like, Oh, we'll just save that up in a couple of months. But in reality, that's not how it works. In reality, other things come up and you have bills and you can only put away so much money at once before, uh, 
before you get it all saved up. And so it's probably gonna take another three or four months. And so it's a combination of all these things, but uh, should have brought my walking stick. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, I am uh, I'm going for a walk to try to curb those try to curb these nerves. That's what I'm doing here. That's why I'm going for a walk. Not only for exercise, it's cooler. It's not too hot yet, not too humid, so it's the easier part of the day. Um, but and so you know, that's why I'm going. That's kind of the reason I'm going now. But I'm also going now is because I can't stop just freaking the fuck out in the house you know and again you know i mean my whole work in life right like i mean you get up in the morning and you go to work and you get off work and you're tired and you sit down for a little bit or you go hang out with a buddy for a little bit whatever and then before you know it it's time to get some supper into you and then before you know it it's time to clean up a little bit and hit the sack because you got to do the whole goddamn thing again tomorrow and for my existence that's how it was my entire work in life and i usually had two jobs so, you know, is that much more difficult? You know, I'm working six days a week at least. And, uh, you know, I, I never had time for this shit. So maybe it was testosterone, maybe it was the adrenaline, maybe it was my metabolism, maybe it was the fact that I had a job and I was doing shit and was responsible. Maybe it was all of these things, or maybe it was, I don't know. But uh, my point is, is I gotta do something to try to counter it in addition to my back issues so i'm gonna start yogaring yogaring yo doing yoga and exercising to attempt to counteract this physical issues and hopefully it will also work to counteract some of these psychological issues i'm having can't believe i didn't bring my cane or my walking stick Fuck, this uphill is killing me it's a little rough on the back but uh or a bandana to wipe off but so yeah so that's the situation and that's what's going on and uh i am gonna make an appointment for the doctor to get that checkup and everything just my regular you know how you doing haven't been to the doctor in forever and then when i'm there depending on how far out the appointment is and how i feel at that time and what's been happening in the twix in the between i may or may not ask him to put me on some anxiety medicine um, or at least give me a prescription for some uh, In addition to maybe I'm thinking about maybe trying to get a prescription of steroids for my elbow and my back and uh, As opposed to injections because you know that one injection in my arm was almost four hundred fucking dollars For a steroidal injection and you're only supposed to get those two or three times a year At max and you're not supposed to get them For the rest of your life, you know, what I mean you're only supposed to get them like a few times and you're supposed to quit but I guess that's why they have steroid pills but uh it has apparently it can cause diabetes being on steroid pills which isn't great but you know it's also not great being in pain all the time so hopefully I can strengthen my muscles enough and change my lifestyle enough that I'm not a complete piece of shit and I don't hate exercising to the point where I just don't do it and uh and then maybe i won't need steroidal uh pills or whatever but then i'm thinking about testosterone too i'm thinking about maybe i need some testosterone injections you know i gotta research that i've heard tell you know people that have done it i know it can maybe have a negative effect sometimes and make you more aggressive um or steroids in general i don't know if that happens with steroid yeah or i mean that happens with steroids rather i don't know if that happens with testosterone i know testosterone in general makes you a more but you know i don't know how injections of testosterone work in a middle-aged man so that'll all take a little bit of research and uh but in the meantime we're just gonna have to get in the habit of doing some yoga and doing some walking and uh just make it my lifestyle I and mean, i've heard plenty of people you know I mean, I understand that, you know, doing exercises, lifting weights, all those things can, uh, can raise your endorphins, you know, and activate the same pleasure centers that you get from doing drugs. 
which is why so many people get addicted to exercise and working out. That'd be great if that was the case for me. I would love to be addicted to something healthy. But uh, I've also heard people say that, hey man, so you're trying to get into shape and you gotta start exercising and you really fucking hate it. Well, here's a fucking newsflash. Nobody likes it. Everybody hates fucking working out. Everybody hates exercising. Everybody hates trying to be healthy. What they like is the result. What they like is the end result. What they like is how they feel after it's over and the way they look in the mirror, you know? So that's it. So whether I'll like it or hate it forever, I need to do it regardless. Plus, I mean, I mean, fuck, dude, my wife's doing it. She's losing weight. Um, I mean, she was fucking super on track before COVID came and she had to quit the gym. And now she's going to work gym instead of Planet Fitness because there's less people there, but it's still a big gym. I'm not sure why she ever did. Well, she didn't do it before because who owned her hospital before? They had a shitty gym. And she didn't realize when the new place that bought them out, she didn't realize they went in there and re-outfitted the whole fucking gym. Put all new equipment in there, expanded the area, made it all nice and new. Oh, excuse me, because they're a non-profit healthcare system and they encourage their employees to be healthy. Um, I mean, not that probably lots of people encourage their, not that non-profit has anything to do with that, but nonetheless. Uh, anyway, getting a little winded, a little out of breath. Probably should have put my stepper on so I knew how far I was walking here. I'll do that in the future. Um, you know, I've tried this three or four times in my life. I tried to get on the exercise regiment and I've always been way too placated by other things. Like when my new game gets here today, you know, tomorrow morning when I wake up and I know it's gonna rain again, am I gonna wanna get out and walk and do yoga since I can't work on the house or am I gonna wanna sit there and play a video game? Well, obviously I'm gonna wanna sit there and play a video game, but I'm just gonna have to willpower through this shit because the last thing I wanna be is broken and weak and scared and uh, and I don't want to, and if I'm that way at 40, I mean, how the fuck would I be at 70? You know what I mean? Like, I don't, if I'm this incapacitated mentally and physically at 45, how am I going to be at 75? So, I get through this shit, and my wife's like, a little, my wife's kind of getting tired of it. And I don't blame her, because, because I'm not this, this is not me, this is not who she married, this is not who she's ever known. And she's, she's the one, when I suggested the testosterone today, she was like, oh, look, we got ourselves some sort of a Santa. Some sort of a Santa pillar. Some sort of a Santa pillar or something. How you doing, Santa pillar? Oh my goodness. You freaking love that thing. But anyway, uh, yeah, when I suggested the testosterone thing and all that, she's like, yeah, maybe, maybe that is a thing you need to look into because I don't know what's up, babe, but you've never been this person. You've always been psycho, crazy, angry, not giving a fuck. And I'm like, yep, but not anymore. So. I don't know. That's my walk story. The wind calmed down, so I'm sure the audio was decent. We'll see how the stabilization works. And if you made it this far, then, wow, you actually must be interested in me a little bit. So, uh, thank you for that. Man, do I need to mow and finish chopping up that tree. Oh, we got a hush puppy. Or is it a bacon? Is it bacon or hush puppy? Oh, it's hush puppy. Hi, hush puppy. Oh, did you get in a big fight? Did you get in a big fight? You got scratches on your nose. You got scratches on your nose. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, kitties. Okay. Cool off and go do the big grocery pickup. I think the walk did calm my nerves a little bit. And talking to y'all helps also. So, you know, like y'all know, like some of y'all may know, YouTube really is my therapy. But, okay, back inside.